this is Parappa the Rappa's palace. Alright. Now, there's a myth going around that says if you don't get the item and you beat the level that you can't go get the item. Well, I'm going to prove this myth to be false. So, hold, hold on to your seats. It's Parappa the Rappa's palace. Alright, so you go to the left and you run into bits and we gotta talk about the bits and you run into uh, flying flaming skulls those two actually come back to life if you don't kill them I mean if you kill them they, they just keep respawning now the Stalpos that I just killed um, they they will not come back if you come back to the room now these motherfuckers that have the little uh, pitch, I mean, the spears or whatever. Um, they're orange. Uh, that one, if you touch him, he takes away your experience points, which sucks balls. And they come, they come from everywhere. I mean, they never go away. Alright, got the key in. Now we unlock it. Now this this flaming skull I would advise you not to kill because like that the fuckers come from both sides, so it's not advisable to get the flaming skull there. Now here here is a good place to get the flaming skull. There's a Stalfo that gives you 20, 30 points, and if you go across here, you go down, you can get the candle, but we'll do that later. I just need to show that the myth is wrong. Now here, you can get the Flaming Skull to your delight. Now it takes forever, but it gives you 50 experience points, which rocks. So. You can really rack up some experience points by killing these fuckers 20 zillion times. So, and like I said, the bits, uh, the bits or bots, uh, and this flaming skull, they come back to life. They respawn just like that. So I got magic up and I got life up. So four, three, one last thing. When I went through this originally, I didn't get the number two. So what you need to do is get attacked to number three before you go fight, fight Buckhead, I mean Horsehead. So I made that mistake. Here's the fairy. If you, use, if you get the fairy, it doesn't respawn. Now I'm going to sh for some reason the video didn't record so I'm going to show you where the keys up here would be. Now if you go up here the key would be around here. Now you go through here you kill these fuckheads who keep coming back. It's like a horror movie each each time you think he's dead he's not now you got this fucker that throws candy bars or whatever now killing him he gives you 50 I think and the key would be right on this pedestal and you hit that statue and it drops a magic potion that restores your magic you go down here and you have to fight uh, uh, what is it? A dark nut? Dark nut or iron knuckle or whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. The best way to kill it is just to jump up like this. And it gives you 50, I do believe. Um, the Stalfos, if it's in Star Wars uh, Revenge of the Sith, if you have the high ground, that's better. 
in here the high ground is not better so I don't know what they're talking about the door would be where the candy man's throwing the candy bars so you kill that fucker there were used if you didn't get the key you would have to go back upstairs and get it here's horse head now I'm probably going to die so I guess on a plus it'll give you a chance to see what happens to you if you die what happens is basically you gotta go back all the way to the start which is sucks so much balls but you have to live with it so anyway like I said before you have to work your way back from the start all the way back to horse head horse head is a pretty easy boss make sure you have your shield on and if you don't have three the sword on three you kill those flaming skulls until you get it you're supposed to, for horse head his head is the target everywhere else is shielded off his attack is basically that thing and the I guess morning star thing or staff it's easy to beat him he's slow at swinging it so it's easy to beat him really he's easy boss right got the key push down the door now the gym's back all right right thank god so you get enough experience points to get your magic up which is really awesome so now magic's at four eventually we'll get life up to five later on when we come back but I gotta put to death this myth that that you can leave without the item and you can never get the item because it turns into a rock well guess what it isn't because if you look if you don't believe me I don't have the candle and now I'm back so whoever started that myth is absolutely wrong and it's pretty ridiculous to tell you the truth because you need the candle and you need everything else so it really doesn't make sense and I don't know why people believed it so you go down here instead of going over we go down now this room has about five five of these flaming skulls so you can rack up experience points which is really awesome so take full-fledged advantage of it this room has two bots on both sides and a falling uh, bridge now if you want to be suicidal get the pee bag just like I did so I leveled up but I'm going to die but that's that's alright you know sometimes you, you bad things are good things I guess since I leveled up that's a good thing but I died so that's a bad thing but whatever alright in the next room you're gonna see the candy man again you gotta kill him I get the shield if you wanted to the shield is awesome because it it lowers the amount it raises your defense it makes you a lot better now I have to kill this fucker again uh, iron knuckle kind of tired of him but every every palace has him now we have the candle and now we're done with palace